than 100,000 miles of streams, creeks, and rivers in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Biology and chemistry students from Laurel High School taking a field trip to the Chesapeake Bay. Their assignment? Write a paper on the impact humans are having on the watershed. Ironically, the visit taking place on the heels of a proposal by the Trump administration to cut $73 million, effectively eliminating the EPA's Chesapeake Bay program a decades-old partnership between the feds and six states to clean up the bay. These cuts make no sense. We are in absolute disbelief. Will Baker is president of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, a watchdog group dedicated to saving the bay. So what's at stake is clean water. What's at stake is the oysters, crabs, and rockfish in the Chesapeake Bay. What's at stake is the ability of children to swim in the Chesapeake. That's not a scare tactic. Two-thirds of the federal dollars are grants to reduce stormwater runoff pollution for wastewater treatment plant upgrades. Funds are used to restore oyster reefs and beds, create habitats for animals, spur research and development, create seafood industry jobs. The funding pays for monitoring cleanup strategies as well. Without that monitoring, it's like flying without instruments, flying blind. Maryland's entire congressional delegation and others sent a letter to the president asking to include the $73 million in his budget for the Bay program. What are we telling our kids if we're saying that this program, which has worked so well, is being eliminated, that they can expect dirty water in their future? The Hogan administration says, quote, if any of these budget proposals ever become law, we will take a serious look how to address them during our budget process next year, end quote. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.